So hello guys and welcome again to a new video and today we're going to talk a bit about the downfall of the Doge chain and what will happen next. Obviously if that sounds interesting what I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot. Make sure to join the Discord as well as Telegram if you have any questions related to crypto obviously you can ask them in there and without further ado let's get started. So first things first looking at Doge chain we have to respect the Doge chain token which is their native token even though you use doge as transaction fees which already makes it a bit more useless the doge and token but looking at the price of the token since the 30th of august we are in a downtrend and the downtrend is actually not looking like it would stop at any moment even though we had some slight recovery during that time it always continued to go down further at the moment 74 percent since the peak which is being honest, not that bad of a loss regarding how much on-chain volume and on-chain TVL has been gone. And we will get to that in just a few seconds. But just looking at the price, it really doesn't look good. Even though we see the token up 8% for today, don't get fooled. Just because market is turning a bit around and the token is again gaining a bit in value doesn't mean that on-chain everything is looking healthy. And regarding the on-chain TVL, uh, we can see it's down an additional 16% during the last 24 hours and that already tells us that the Doge chain token price is not really going up. Yeah, maybe in the short term, but that doesn't mean that so far on chain it doesn't look good and there's not really a use case for the token. Simply that fact already makes me say, okay, I'm not really into Doge chain at the moment. And that is not because I lost faith in it, simply because there's not much stuff that you can do. Even though we have a lot of different protocols, the sad thing is most of them did lose value. And I had a look into a lot of these stacks. So I have a look at Yod, Kip and um, USCD. Even though all the protocols have really nice interface, have a good mechanism and everything works flawless, even auto compounding vaults, still the interest into the Doge chain at the given moment is simply not there. And is that a bad thing? Well, regarding the TVL, uh, it is. Uh, regarding the launch of Doge chain, well, you cannot not really argue uh, how they should have done it different because you cannot change the market given the fact uh, that we are really volatile at the moment and crypto all of a sudden can go from very bullish to very bearish. That's just a thing after a bull market that we were in last year uh, and people still don't really accept that. And maybe that's why a lot of the stuff that launches recently is not really popping off right now. Does that mean that we are already doomed for uh, the next bull market with Doge chain? No, definitely not. This could be very much a chance to get some good positions before the shit takes actually off. Obviously, that's no guarantee. That is just looking at past projects like Phantom. We had the same, we had a huge hype and after the huge hype, the TVL did got obliviated by three times. We had 300k, uh, 300 million at the peak and then we had 100 million. So we lost 200 million in TVL. Looking at the Doge, 23 million now 10 million so we even can lose still around 3 million until we are at where phantom was back then and phantom did launch in the bull market that might be maybe why the numbers are that different 10 million versus 300 million already says a lot but still could be that this is repeating itself we always see it on a few networks when they launch they gain a lot of hype then it slows down and then all of a sudden they come back alive but is it the case for the doge chain we cannot really tell looking at the yield farming stuff but let's say at the token which we used to yield farm cable for example did not really perform anything even if you did auto compound i did auto compound from around here and I am no longer in profit. Even though the percentage was huge, the token lost way too much in value to be up. And that is the sad part about a chain. If you cannot really make money on chain with anything that they offer, it is really no reason to stay on it. And people obviously take their money out, go to a different chain. And at the moment, that's pretty much the case. And that's why I'm not really continuing to yield from. I have a few positions still left on Elon's hope, for example. But all the other positions <coughs> I really don't use. 
and I'm really not going to put any money into a chain at the moment that is only losing value and losing uh, TVL and also not being profitable regarding yield farming. And that is the sad part about Doge chain. Even though everything looked very good in the beginning, right now it doesn't look that bullish. And that was mainly because I think Bitcoin also did die again during that time. But yeah, you cannot really time it. Looking forward uh, to the Doge, and I obviously will keep an eye on it uh, and look for signs of recovery. There could be a very likely protocol that launches and again the TVR goes up skyrocket uh, or maybe... I don't know. It's very likely the case that it could turn around again. How? That's up to the Doge chain itself, what they're going to do. If they're going to do any invention, then obviously we're going to see them recover and that even further. But nevertheless, that's pretty much <coughs> it for the Doge chain. Regarding crypto in general, well, it's looking a bit better for today. Bitcoin again 19,500 and yesterday was shortly at 18k and ETH obviously is not looking uh, good at all after the merge but yeah I don't really care much about Ethereum and Bitcoin it's just always good to look at them as a reference because then you most likely know the market will go up or the market will go down. Looking at our Juno position we are still up quite a lot um, 32% and still earning 2 bucks 40. Currently we have in liquidity rewards around 5 bucks, um, which is very nice to see. This position so far is one of the best and one that keeps on printing money. And yeah, looking at all the other pools, everything is looking fine. And we see a lot of, um, yeah, of the set, uh, liquidity gaining for the SE pairs uh, on Juno. Around 100k came in total on both these pools, which is very nice to see that also the stake easy and uh, Juno, basically the one the Juno that you can stake and auto compound rewards into, gets a bit more of interest. And that's very nice to see that as well also. And yeah, hopefully we will see a lot of uh, different pools go live in the near future. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Juno regarding Ping P. Uh, going over to staking, we got around 370p, which, yeah, as I already said, going to continue to compound until we reach 30k and then we continue to harvest them and keep them in the wallet and wait for the price to recover. The percentage is still at 268, which is actually not bad. Um, we will take that and uh, 400, didn't even really reflect that. But yeah, 400 is definitely a good number to continue to compound, almost at 27k. So yeah, I think a few weeks, two to three weeks, and we are at least at 30k. And then we're obviously gonna see what's happening next, because as I said, they're going to release a landing pool, a landing protocol at some point, and also leverage yield farming. Um, and I highly think if they're going to do that, that the token is also gaining in value. But yeah, I could be wrong there financial advice but that's just my guess uh, yeah pretty much that's everything for today hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and yeah see you guys tomorrow